everybody, it's Karen from Walking on Travels again, and now we're going to dive into Pinterest images. Um, the great thing about Canva.com is that they already have a Pinterest pre-made graphic, so you don't have to worry about um, sizing or anything like that. So I'm just going to go down to Pinterest graphics right here. It's 375 by 1102 pixels. That's going to bring me to a new screen. Don't panic. It's going to give me a white canvas. Over here, you're going to see all the different kinds of layouts, and you're going to see that there's a little money sign here, and then you are going to be able to find some free ones somewhere in here. I feel like there's a lot more money ones. Okay, so we have our cooking lessons. So I'm going to pick this one. I'm just going to click on it. You can also drag and drop it. And so we have our fun little forks. We have our great text and a line and all, you know, the dates. So I'm just going to go, okay, it's March 2016. And we're going to make fried rice today. <laughs> I am not a cooking blogger. I apologize in advance. So in theory, you're done. There you go. There's your Pinterest image. It's great. But um, Pinterest is a visual medium. This big, huge blue block isn't necessarily going to do it for you or your readers. This doesn't actually tell me anything about what you're doing. So I'm going to actually change this over to be something that I would do so I can use one of my photos. So I'm going to put Mexico and Laredo and let's see, we're going to make an ultimate destination guide. Okay. I really don't like that. This just jumped over to two lines. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out these little boxes and I'm going to pull it to these lines so that it stays centered. If you click on this, and then you go to your arrow, you're going to see that right now I'm checked on centered. You can also make it go left. You can also make it go right. You can make it italic. You can make it bold. You can add line spacing if you want. So, or letter spacing. So I can make it tiny, really small, or I can kind of fatten it up a little bit if I want it to take over the whole space. So there you go. But not feeling this color, even if I was, I could change it out if I wanted to on here. I can make my own color. Let's not make that color. It's going to make everybody sick. Uh, let's do something pretty over here. So anyway, but I'm going to put in images instead. So I'm going to go back to the left side. I'm going to go to upload. And look at all these beautiful pictures that we have to choose from. These are actually all of mine. If you wanted to go to your own, you can go up here, upload own, just navigate like any other program. You navigate to what image you want and you upload it. I try to keep images on the smaller side. Usually I bring in about an image that's a thousand pixels wide for a Pinterest pin and I'm going to try to find something dark so you can see what's going to happen next. Um, okay, we're just going to do this one. So I'm going to pull this over and oh my goodness, that's way too small. Even though technically my file size is bigger than what we're making. doesn't matter. Pull this corner and I'm going to pull it out and then I'm going to wait till I start to see Okay, you see a little line in the middle that popped up? It shows me that I'm perfectly centered now. And that's where I want to stay. Because I don't want, if you kind of, you can kind of get wonky with your things here. Now, I am not really into the random forks either. Um, this could work for you if you have a beautiful, you know, food photo, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to highlight across here. Okay, you want to make sure that this box did not get highlighted. So if you're on, oops, sorry about that guys. If you're on a Mac, you can hit shift or something else um, to make sure that this gets unhighlighted. You don't want anything else. So I've just highlighted these forks. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit delete and now they're gone, great. So now I want my text. I'm gonna do the same thing to keep all this text beautifully grouped together, okay? Make sure you're not taking your big picture with you. I'm just going to bring this down and this is actually driving me crazy. So I have to fix this to Paris, France. See, you can just keep changing it out. Um, you want something that's going to really grab your reader's attention. I've been reading a lot that, you know, red text is something that a lot of people are starting to throw on. Bonnie might've actually even suggested this. I can't remember. Um, but you want to make sure that people can actually see it. If it's getting lost in the background, then you're going to have to figure out something else. Um, you know, this might not work with this image. Okay, so 
here's a little bit better example because here's a there's a lot of lifestyle and food bloggers in our group so I'm going to use this so woohoo donuts who doesn't love donuts I just did a post on the 50 states of donuts and where you should go and eat them um, so this isn't going to work because the picture is too big so I'm just going to start moving elements all these are is every single one of these words is a different box because I chose them to be a different box I could also just write here let's move this over here could also just write France but then the spacing here might not be the way that I want it to so I can either drag it across so that it fills up the whole page or I can put it into two separate boxes so I have a lot more control over where I'm gonna go so I'm just gonna put this back to Paris because now I have more options for what's happening here and I have my little ultimate guide so maybe what I want to do is put this guy up here and put this guy down here and you're not seeing this right now so I'm gonna make this into black because you know there's no point in having a big white thing if you can't see black now you're all looking at this going oh great there's that little line right there well I can play with that I can move it around I can you know decide overall you know what I really don't like this or I want to make it smaller um, lots of just dragging and playing and if you mess up or you want to really play with it remember you can always duplicate what you're doing over here and it just brings you an extra one so now I can really mess this up I can be like oh this would be awesome if I did this and I put this over here and I took this out somewhere hang on there's my little line and I don't like that and I'd really like that to be there and that to be blue or whatever just know the big thing is you whatever you do in a text box this can be frustrating it's going to happen to every single word, which is why a lot of people do break out different text boxes. Um, because if I wanted Paris to be half red and half blue, watch it'll work now. Oh, it does work. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> certain things don't work when you're trying to do it all in the same text box. So just be mindful of that. When in doubt, just break up your elements so they're in different things. You can again also just add in different shapes if you you know want to circle in here it's gonna be huge shrink it down grab corners start changing it's gonna keep its size ratio um, so it's gonna stay a, a circle it's not gonna you know turn into a square the more you drag it and you know then you can just kind of start throwing stuff in if you decide that you really don't like this and you want to kind of add in your own text there you go just start dragging and dropping make that bigger go up there there you go and you're like oh I don't like that I'm gonna go back to my default font that I know I always use um, there's Lotto but that's just because I'm lazy at this point um, you'll notice a lot of my pins all look the same uh, so you can do that let's throw like a different color in there just really the biggest thing with canvas you just have to play around and have fun don't get annoyed um, they're kind of adding new things all the time when I started with Canva none of these pre-made um, text combos were here which I'm so excited about now I didn't even notice because I was so stuck in my own funk for so long um, so you can you know just keep playing do what you want when you're done you can hit download for Pinterest images I would just do download for web because that's gonna make sure your image is small enough to upload really fast but your dimensions are actually still going to be what you need. Um, if you need high quality because you plan on printing it, you can do high quality PNG. If you're going to do a PDF and uh, print it or send it over to PR people or media or brand, whatever, um, just hit those two. So I think that covers what we're talking about. You can also, if you just want to have a fun background, you can drag and drop backgrounds into here. You are going to lose your image. You can't have both unless you're doing a split uh, image. So, and if all else fails and you mess up, you can do your undo key code. So on a Mac, it's uh, Command Z, and it'll just keep going back until you get to where you want it to go. But again, that's why we keep the secondary one to do an alternate of the first one that we love, even though I don't love this. Uh, so I hope that helps everybody. When you actually hit the download, you're going to get a little zip file in the bottom uh, with all your multiple options that you did. You can't just select one of them to get it to work. If you're like me and you need glasses and you feel blind half the time, here's your zoom buttons. And if you wanted to upload your own photos, I think we already went over this, 
um, you just go here, elements, different layouts. You can always change your mind, guys. Um, and you can search if you just want to find a picture of a plane. There you go. Now I have all my pictures of planes. Some I have to pay for, some are free. As you can see, a lot of the stuff doesn't matter. So if you don't have a photo for it, you can always find it through them a lot of the time. So this can be particularly helpful for all of us in different lifestyles and travel blogging um, when we don't have a stock photo image because a dollar for a stock photo image is pretty amazing. So have fun. I think that's it. Ask me questions on the Facebook group. I am always here to help.